Hey, uh, Anthony. Yes, uh huh. This is Chris. I got your uh, form online. Said you were looking to sell your house quickly, and I wanted to get back with you to make sure that uh, we can help facilitate. Uh, what's going on with the property there? Well, I had it renovated, <clears throat> and I put it on the MLS, and it's on the MLS too long for me. So I have an exit strategy either to sell it quickly to cash offers or to just put a tenant in it and then uh, refinance the loan that I have on it. So oh, okay. my my uh, my reason for doing it is that the lender that I'm with, the hard money lender, I don't like doing business with them. So I'm kind of, I'm not desperate yet, but I'm close. <laughs> oh yeah, I understand those hard money loans are no joke. <laughs> Yeah, I might. I have a plan for Monday, so I'm gonna take the house off the market Monday. That's what I told my agent. There's no problem because I have a team. But if we could find a cash back close to what I want, just to pay them off the hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred I owe them, and they'll get me off my back. But I got several exit strategies if I can't get close to what I want to get out of this property. Okay, so yeah, I pulled it up. It's listed. So, oh, okay. So this house is in perfect condition. Does it need anything, Phil? Or no, we already fixed everything that we're needing to include put new plumbing in and all of that, which kind of went over budget in uh, eleven thousand four ninety nine over budget. But oh wow, but I didn't pick this property. I had I had somebody on my team who did not know what she's doing, which is a lesson learned. But we just, I just try to get out of it so I can start another deal. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a loss on this one, and that's how it it goes in real estate. But um, I got I can refinance it. I already got Rocket Mortgage. Give me all the numbers because my credit score is in the 800 range. So I could get anything I want, but I prefer sell it, be done with it. <clears throat> and move on to the next project. <clears throat> okay, so you're saying if you were able to get around that 117 mark, you'd be ready to sell the cash and be done with it? Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I owe 117, but I still got 30,000 in the in that 117. They didn't oh. give me that. So I'm trying to get back my money, that's all. If I break even, I'm good to go. So, yeah. so what, what do you need to uh, make this a uh, good deal for you where you're not losing basically where you can actually um, for me uh, I've had some good offers already but I'm looking for at least uh, $20,000 from what I got it at so 160 I'll probably take 160 that'll give me back um, my, most of my money that I have in it in terms of the closing what I had to bring to a close for the deal. So that's all I'm trying to get back. Even if I don't make any profits, I don't care. So 160 will get me there. So 160 <clears throat> cash that will get you uh, whole again and, and you can walk away from this property and start the next one. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, and then 160, that's the best you can do, you think, on the price? Uh... I really put it low enough to try to see if you'll be interested. That's the lowest I've offered to everybody that has spoken. I was starting from one seventy and ten thousand dollar off from what I what I have it now. So I, I've come down tremendously from one seventy to one sixty. So one sixty. Yeah. And what kind of feedback were you getting from it being on the market? Were people trying to buy it or did you have what was going on? Well, right now, the properties in St. Louis, you know, interest rate are high. People are dealing with the down payment, which is usually you got to put 20, 20% down. So we're trying to flip it, but uh, the flipping is not working. But if we don't, if I don't get close to what I want, I'm going to put a tenant in it starting next week. We're gonna start trying to shop for a tenant to be in it. So we'll probably put it about fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars because it's renovated real nice inside. If you want, you could go look at the pictures that's on the MLS. 
but we're gonna yeah. take it on. I'm, this agent and I, we are we are on a team. I can always pull deals, take it off the market when I uh, without having any issues with commission and all that. So I have a team, and we're trying to get out of this property so I can start another one. <laughs> So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. I don't know what happened. But I, think happened. I said, uh-oh, I think we got disconnected. No problem. And so, um, so 160 is the cash price. If not, you're going to just rent it out with like a Section 8 tenant or just like a regular cash tenant? I'm regular. I have a, I have a team, but the problem is they're going to take about two to three weeks to try to get an agent in, get a tenant in and then I also put the management team in. So if I put it for 1500 maybe I I, I walk a word, maybe a thousand a month or 1100 So that'd be great. Yeah. Well, I mean, a cash purchase at 160 probably is going to be a little more than we would pay for it, even though it is in perfect condition, uh, just because of, you know, that's pretty close to, uh, you know, we were to go put cash into the deal you know cash costs more now everything costs more um, yeah. but uh, what if there is a way we can structure a deal where we can get you the exact price you want of 160 and we can structure a deal where you can get this house sold not have to manage it not have to do any of that thing that you were looking to do and still get this house sold quickly is that something we should speak about well, I, I kind of see where you're going on to maybe doing it as a subject too. That is my third backup. That is not, that is my third exit strategy. The key thing is for me to get the hard money loan paid off. Get them out of my face. <laughs> Once I get them out of my face, then I could really wheel and deal where I will, the house will be paid off uh, in terms of paying off this hard money lender. And then I'll be subject to getting payments uh for the property uh, or you know over a period of time so i i would be in, interested in that but the key thing is i just can't accept 1175 only it'll be it has to be more than that for me oh, to yeah. Get subject to. yeah we could do the 160 on it on a, uh if we did a creative deal uh and i don't and i didn't tell you my name is chris i'm in st louis here and i'm actually the king of subject two in st louis don't tell anybody but this is what we do. We buy more of these than anybody else in town. Okay. So it's actually our specialty in buying four this month already. So, um, you know, we do these deals. We understand how to work them. We understand the insurance, everything that goes along with it. Have you done a deal, uh, a subject to type transaction before? No, I know how they are done. Because there are certain investors like Blair Havler, Ron Legrand, who is the father of subject to. Godfather. He's a god. Well, he's a godfather. Uh, he's a godfather. <laughs> Whatever he is, uh, he's not the only one. The Pace Morby does the same thing too, but he got something called the, the gate or something. So send me what a what third. What if I told yeah, you I know all of them? <laughs> <laughs> send me a term. <laughs> send me a term sheet. I know all of them too. Trust me, I I know a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of multi-millionaire real estate. I I could call about 25 of them off of the top of my head some of them programs are good some of them programs are not real are not good they're just some of these guys are selling programs some of them are not actually doing deals exactly. or they or they doing they doing situation like jerry norton he's doing where he's having you look for deals for him and then he gives you ten thousand uh dollars -huh. and then he takes the house and fix it up and flip it and make 50. So <laughs> they they got all kind of stuff going on out there, so but it sounds you, good. You I'll, I'll be willing. I'll be willing to take. I'll be willing to take payments, but the problem with the subject too, I'm gonna need at least one seventeen five to pay the hard money loan out of the, get them out of the way. So I would need at least an advancement of that much. 
and then the rest could be paid in a subject to deal. So okay. that's the key thing with me. That's one possible way. What we've done in the past as well is uh, a seller would have a property like yours. They would go do the traditional financing, refinance, and then sell it to a subject to with that traditional financing on it. So then you won't have to deal with that management, deal with everything, and you get all of your money and you don't have to deal with anything. You won't be a landlord. You'll be just like the bank. And you know the bank makes all the money, right? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do, be the bank. But so I, I do think what I did. I'm going to do, I have to shift my investing because right now, interest rate, right now, a lot of doom and gloom around around real estate. But when they, like when Warren Buffett said, when they're, when they're fearful, be greedy. When they're greedy, be fearful. Exactly. So there's a little bit of fearfulness going on because of interest rates and inflation. So if you got cash in your hand or you could create cash flow, I'm willing to create cash flow on this deal. But I want that hard money loan out of my face. They're the only one that giving me grief. I want them out. So the key thing is I'm willing to do something like that because I plan to refinance the deal with Rocket Mortgage. I'm going to get a lower payment and a lower interest rate than what I'm paying now. I'm paying 11.25% and 1100 a month. We didn't expect the house to stay in the market this long. We thought... Within two months, we'll get it sold. It's been a two months, almost going on three months or more. So that's the boogaboo with this deal. Yeah. So um, Rocket Mortgage usually deal with veterans like myself. Oh, what, what branch were you in? I was in the Army. I'm a combat vet. I've been retired over 16 years. So You sound like you were in around the same time as me then. I'm an Army combat vet as well. I was in the first war, Gulf War, 1990 91, uh, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. So, oh, okay. So, you was in back when I was in fourth grade. So, yeah, <laughs> my fourth grade teacher went to that. So, I remember that. Uh, we had a oh, and, oh, you were, oh, you were born later than that? You were born in the 90s? No, 80s. Oh, you were born in the 80s. Yeah, okay. I was in fourth grade when that happened. But I did go to uh, Iraq in 2003. So. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm a, the first Gulf I'm 100% disabled, so I got money coming in, but the key thing with me, I'm getting ready to still do fix and flip, but I'm changing my investment into um, uh, mortgage notes and promissory notes. That way I don't have to deal with tenants and toilets. Exactly. And it's very, it's very lucrative. There are several people in the country like uh, Mr. Carlo Turner. He's a black dude. He's multimillionaire, but he's specialized in that. So I'm trying to crew. I got some investment that I'm waiting on. That's why I'm in this trouble. But one thing with me, when I hit hard times like this, I just keep going. You're going to always have ups and downs in real estate, but I'm getting ready to change my whole strategy and just focus on promissory mortgage notes and regular mortgage notes. You know, you get the same cash flow without all the headaches. Exactly. That's why I tell people, get elevated to be just like the bank. Don't be the landlord, be the bank. <laughs> yeah, I sold all my, t I had about five rentals. I sold them all last year. Oh, but wow. Just get ready to ask, do you have any others here in St. Louis? No, I just got that one in St. Louis only. Most of my rentals was here in North Carolina where I live. Oh, okay. My brother stayed in Charlotte. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. What? Just look at that. We're in a small world. <laughs> okay. Are you close to here? Huh? You're, you're close to Charlotte, North Carolina too? Yeah, I less than an hour. About an hour and 10 minutes away. Yeah, that's all right. I go, I go to Charlotte all the time. That's a tough market to go in. 10, 15 years ago, houses down there were like eighty, ninety thousand dollars, a hundred. Now a rinky dink beat up house cost two, three hundred thousand. Oh wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Charlotte is the most expensive market on the East Coast wow. because really? they got a, they got all that professional stuff that going on down there with the Hornets, the Panthers. They have knocked down entire apartment complexes just to put condos up and penthouses and all that. They knock entire uh, displaced thousands of sh people from Charlotte. 
Last you know what? I, was, I was there last uh, last year around this time. One of my buddies, he was buying a house. He was showing me right outside of downtown Charlotte that it could be a vacant trash house and they build a brand new $600,000 uh, condo next door. <laughs> yeah. That's how they're doing they're it. But they're lucky they, they're lucky they make that person move. They have yeah. knocked down huge apartment complexes just to put those condos up. I mean, they made my friend, this happened about eight, nine years ago, maybe about that. He signed the lease. As soon as he signed the lease in less than 30 days, they tell him he got to move. And... They made everybody move, and then they came in there with them big old boulders that smashed the entire apartment complex down. They're not, <laughs> Mecklenburg County ain't no joke. That's an expensive place to do real estate right now. Bring your good wallet to Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, yeah I love what Charlotte. I'm gonna do here, <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to send you a uh, text after this so you have all my contact information and I'm going to send you uh, a written offer so you at least have something in writing so you you know see what we can go for. So you in, you in St. Louis? So give me all your, because it, when I'm done with this situation, a, the thing is about real estate, there's always a remedy. It does depends on what remedy you want. There's a lot of exit strategies. But mine's, I, w I was hoping that I could sell it and then, but I have lots of deals. I, I'm with a program. They give me, they send me deals all the time. And my agent, Mr. Joe Archambon, a white dude, he's in that area. He like sells four or five houses a month. 20, as he told me, sell up to 20 houses a month. But for some reason, where this house is, is kind of where the traffic, main traffic is, which, <clears throat> I wish I had taken a street view. I allow somebody on my team who sits behind a desk. She don't have no experience. So this has been painful for me because I wanted to to, to um, invest out of state. So they gave me a team. I had to pay $15,000 to join the team, but they give me a lot of turnkey rentals. That's all they do. There's another guy. I'm on his team too, James Verland. He's a big multimillionaire in that area. He got a lot of turnkey rentals. James Verland. You can look him up. You'll see he, he be all over Facebook, but he a multimillionaire. Mm -hmm. So I see what's going on. This house is too close to Castle Point. Are you familiar with that area over there? I have, no, I have no idea. My, Joe is my, is my agent and he tells me what's going on. So it looks yeah. like we might have to try to get a tenant in it. I'm gonna. I have um, an opportunity to refinance it. Maybe that's the best way to go. Refinance it, and then. Well, yeah. So, so like I said, we're interested in buying it, um, and we can help you get, you know, whatever to get the refinance done. Because we would rather for you to refinance it and then sell it, subject to that way, and then you don't have the management, and you can still, you know, get the house sold and not have to deal with it anymore, and pull your money out, you know. Um, so that's what I was thinking, but we could we could talk about it later if you want. And okay, uh, we'll talk about it. I usually don't go to bed till twelve one o'clock, but I'm getting tired. Tomorrow yeah, is it, Saturday. It, we could talk some more about it of what you think I should do. Right now, Rocket Mortgage, they're willing to refinance it, but the refinance, you know they're gonna charge you closing costs and fees and all of this because it's an investment property. But I just want to get away from the hard money lender. In all the years I've done real estate, this is the first time I've ever borrowed money and and it has been a bad experience yeah. <laughs> because I don't borrow people's money. This is why I don't owe because you're gonna, you, you owe and sometimes deals don't get off. I thought this deal would have been sold already, but because of where it is, they say it's it's, it's at some kind of traffic, a, a area that has a lot of traffic. That's yeah, what my on another mile north on the other side of two seventy, you really be in a better spot. But it could, we could still do something. But we would want to buy it vacant. So just to be clear, we wouldn't want uh, a tenant there because we don't do tenant. Oh, uh, like you prefer you prefer buy yeah, um, prefer empty. Yeah. Okay. So if you have good financing people, I'm willing to refinance it, and then. Once I refinance to get it, you know, set up for subject two. And that way I don't have to manage it or do deal it, do anything with it. Exactly. And you got all your money out of it and everything. So yeah, we'll we'll go into it. But I'm gonna send you a, a 
uh, email. Once I text you here, just write, write back your email address and I'll send you an email to uh, break down what we can do just so, so you can have some more information and then we'll reconvene on this, um, you know, when you're available next and uh, maybe early next week or something or what are you thinking? Yeah, Monday, we got to stop moving rapid. I don't want to make another payment. I'm due to make a payment every first, between the first and the third of every month. I have oh, to wow. get out of this deal before August 1st hits here. I already told Rocket Mortgage they got to close fast. I'm not, yeah, I, I'm I, not I have some people who can even close faster if needed. If they're not moving like you like, I do have some resources I can send you as well. So okay, so I, mean, I want to close fast within two weeks or less. They need. I have great credit. I got money I could bring to the. But I don't really want. I just want to refinance and and pay the other guy off, get them off of my face, and then I could do whatever subject to whatever it is that could give me cash flow for you know a, you know whatever way you set it up. Yeah, I, we'll, I, we'll get you taken it. care of. So yeah, no no worries. We'll get you straightened out. You're dealing with the best. You got the right one on this one. All right, well, thank you very much. And me and you soldiers alike. So I just oh, much right. older than you. Uh, so yeah, like you born in, you born in the eighties. I'm born in the sixties. Oh wow, you still sound young though. Young, young with energy. I, I mean, yeah, I got plenty of energy. I could play ball. I lift weights. I I date young. I be dating women in my daughter's age. My daughter is thirty three. Oh. <laughs> my daughter be looking at me sideways. She like, Daddy, who's these women? Well, you got these young women. So they when they look at me, they can. When I tell them my age, they be shocked because I don't look my age. And I'm not, no, you know, I work out still like I'm still in the military. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm starting to get greed up now. But I still have a lot of strength. And they be wanting me to play basketball. But I said, man, I ain't, I'm done playing games. I don't play basketball the moon like I used to. But yeah. I'm, I'm 58. But I don't look my age. I know that's right. And I've been retired since I was 41 years old. So that's military life got you out of there quick, huh? Well, uh, yeah, I went in that war and then I had a good job and everything, but they took me out of the post office. They give me my social security and then they give me 100% disabling. So I got free medical and all of that stuff going on. So And I got rentals still. I still got some rentals, but um, I've been retired a long time ago. <laughs> see, it was meant for me and you to meet either way. See, we're going to do more than just this deal together. Watch and see. Okay, well, good. That sounds wonderful. That helped me. I just want to get out of this deal. Once I get out of this deal, I have a company that I pay $197 a month, and they send me deals can done. And I have a team. I have a GC, a general contractor. They call Black Knight Construction. Plus my agent, he has people that can remodel. So I'm going to be in that area for a long time um, doing deals. Uh, I don't really want any rentals. I prefer I get a subject to where somebody's paying for at least, at least with the option to buy or where I fix the house up and I could be the bank where they give me $5,000 down. Uh, then I also take payments. And then at the end of two years, or maybe a year they could tell me what they're gonna do and refinance me out. So you get you end up getting paid three times. So you it's know, all good. If I told you I got a whole portfolio full of those. Well, go ahead, my man. You're doing big. <laughs> You're doing it big. <laughs> You're doing like so it. Talk, I, okay. I need a look. I I know what to do, but I've never put put pen to paper to do that. So I yeah, want to. I would do my. I would do my first one with you because, see, I actually, once I pay that hard money loan off, really, I, I will really own the property outright. My company's called Sea Waves, Sea Waves Real Estate LLC. I'm an island boy. I'm from the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Croix. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. well, I'll walk you through it all. So it, it's pretty, you know, we have a standard process. We will go through everything. We have a good title company that does everything correctly. And, you know, we have a good team in place. So, yeah, we'll walk through it. And uh, I'll send you that uh, that message with the uh, with the uh, offer and everything on there too. Any other questions for me for tonight before I let you go, Anthony? Well, uh, like I said, I'm glad you're optimistic. We definitely would do more deals. Cause once I get all this deal, I can call my agent Joe and I'll be w working on another property. With but this time he's gonna pick them for me because he knows the area, so I don't buy a house in a bad area because. 
he wasn't there when I picked this 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 deal. This deal was picked for me, and it was picked by somebody who don't know what they're doing. She was her name is Christy Mercer. She don't know what she's doing. She she don't even go out in the field. She's a pencil pusher. But I should have used the street view. I should have used the street view to see where it exactly where it is. But I don't know the area. I'm in another state, so. Yeah, hopefully we'll you and I could do, yeah, hopefully you and I could do deals together. I can I can get plenty funding. I got a lot of places. I'm getting ready to join a program where I'm gonna get five hundred to a million dollars in funding at zero percent charge. But it's a program, you gotta join it and then they get you the monies, the credit cards and they liquidate everything and then you just constantly so every six months you get five hundred thousand dollars to play with. There you go. So they can make a lot of money off that. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Well, right. you're right. Probably, guys. So I'm going to have to save your number. Text me everything. We can talk tomorrow. I don't get up until maybe 11, 12. So maybe tomorrow in the evening or so. You yeah, got my email. Send me, send me everything so I could pay that other person off. And I, I will gladly accept a subject, too, on the deal. Perfect. All right. So we'll talk tomorrow. Uh, you have a good evening, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters. Powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Are you looking for the best dialer to reach your leads? Try OnlineBurnerPhone.com. You can reach four times more contacts per hour and build a stronger, more engaged pipeline. Now, when you check this out at OnlineBurnerPhone.com, you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings. Once you hear they pick up by voicemail, you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect. You can also send personalized emails. You can also retarget your contacts. And guess what? All calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes. Try it out today with no credit card. OnlineBurnerPhone.com. OnlineBurnerPhone.com.